Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles, the brown circle uh, and the blue circle fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, blue circle is 64 pi centimeter square and the center of this uh, circle is O, whereas the center for this brown circle is P. And furthermore, uh, the length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 25 centimeter, whereas the width uh, of this rectangle is uh, 18. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let me label the radius of this uh, blue circle as uppercase R and the radius of this uh, brown circle as uh, lowercase uh, R. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi R square, where uppercase R represents the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle. And we know the area of this blue circle has been given to us as 64 pi. So therefore, I'm going to fill in the blanks. I'm going to write down 64 times pi equal to pi times uppercase r square. And now we are going to divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi and pi is gone. So therefore, we are ended up with the r square equal to 64. Let me undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius uppercase r turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter. So therefore, the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 8 centimeter. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, the centers P and uh, O. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Uh, centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore, our these uh, two centers, P, O, and this uh, point of tangency between them, they lie on the very same line. And here's our next step. I have drawn this uh, line EF that passes through this center O. And likewise, I have uh, drawn this uh, vertical line GH that passes through this center P as well. And furthermore, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, K. And likewise, I have connected this center P with this point uh, J. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, all these uh, angles uh, are going to be 90 degrees uh, each. And furthermore, uh, these uh, horizontal line and this vertical uh, line, they intersect each other at this point uh, T. And that angle is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, blue circle. We know its radius is 8. So therefore, this radius is going to be 8. Uh, this radius is going to be 8. And likewise, this radius is going to be 8 uh, as well. And likewise, let's focus on this uh, brown uh, circle. Let me label uh, its radius as uh, lowercase uh, r. Then this radius is going to be lowercase r. And likewise, this is going to be lowercase r radius as well. And now let's make an observation. If this uh, JP segment uh, is uh, lowercase r, then this uh, ET segment is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise, uh, if the radius uh, OK is uh, 8, then this uh, length uh, GT is going to be 8 centimeter as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PTO. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, PO length uh, is going to be the sum of this uh, radius R plus uh, 8. And here's our next step. We know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, EF uh, is same as this uh, side length uh, AB. And this is 18. So therefore, this length has got to be 18 as well. And now we know that this uh, segment uh, is uh, lowercase r. And this segment uh, OF uh, is uh, 8. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, 
OT is going to be simply I'm going to write down 18 minus lowercase r minus uh, 8 and if we simplify that thing that is going to give us uh, 10 uh, minus uh, r so therefore uh, this segment uh, OT turns out to be 10 minus uh, r and furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this uh, vertical uh, length uh, g h is same as this uh, length uh, a d this is 25 so therefore uh, this uh, g h length is uh, 25 as well and we know that this uh, segment uh, g t is uh, 8 and this segment uh, p h uh, is our radius uh, r so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, t p is going to be simply 25 minus 8 minus r if we simplify that is going to give us 17 minus r so therefore this side length t p turns out to be 17 minus r and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case uh, our hypotenuse is r plus 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 10 minus r whole square plus likewise 17 minus r whole square equals to r plus 8 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this binomial and on this binomial on the left hand side as well so therefore we are going to have a 100 minus 20 times r plus r square plus likewise 289 minus 34 r plus r square is going to be equal to and now let's recall another famous uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, right hand side therefore right hand side is going to become uh, r square plus uh, 16 times r plus uh, 64 and now we can see this r square and this r square they are gone and now we are going to combine uh, these uh, like uh, terms on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step I am going to subtract uh, 16 R and 64 from both side and we can see on the right hand side both of them cancel out so therefore we are ended up with the uh, R square minus uh, 17 times R plus uh, 325 equal to 0 and here we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring you may use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant 325 this could be broken down to 5 uh, times uh, 65 and if we add 5 and 65 that is going to give us uh, 70 so therefore we can tweak this uh, middle term this negative 70 r could be written as negative 5 r minus 65 r as you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see r is in common between first two terms and here negative 65 is in common between last uh, two terms so therefore i can write r times uh, r minus uh, 5 and then minus 65 times r minus 5 equal to 0 and now we can see r minus 5 and r minus 5 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, r minus 5 times r minus uh, 65 turns out to be equal to 0 and in this uh, next step we are going to separate these two factors and as a result we are ended up with two values of radius r r equals to 5 and r equals to 65 and now we can see r equal to 65 is not uh, feasible so therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, r equal to 65 scenario and we are going to accept uh, r equal to 5 value so thus the radius uh, of this uh, brown circle turns out to be 5 centimeter and here's our final step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, brown circle 
And now let's recall once again the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square where our r value is 5. So therefore the area of this uh, brown circle is going to be pi times 5 whole square. So therefore the area of this brown circle turns out to be 25 times pi centimeter square. So thus the area of this brown circle turns out to be 25 pi centimeter square. That is going to be approximately equal to 78.54 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.